scheduling tool can be exciting and overwhelming all at the same time. This tutorial, today's video, is all about how to use Planoly with Canva inside of my Pinterest system. However, you don't have to have all three of those parts, even just two of them, Planoly and Canva, will help you to better schedule and create a Pinterest workflow so you can be more consistent and continue to show up on Pinterest every day in 2022. So if that's what you're into, if you're here and you wanna learn how to use Planoly and Canva, my full workflow, this video is for you. Let's just get right on into the good stuff and go straight to the screen share. First things first, we need to make sure that our Planoly account is connected to Pinterest and you are logged into the correct Canva account on your computer if you want to use the Canva integration from Planoly. Now, I will go ahead and warn you, with this integration inside of Planoly, all of your templates need to be exactly the way you want them because you cannot access your brand kit inside of Planoly once you start creating your content. So you can see here, my managed social accounts are Pinterest and Instagram with Pinterest being the first one. It's really important that Pinterest is your first account because you get the unlimited posts on this first account. You only get 30 on the second account that you connect. So now that we are have verified that we are logged into Pinterest inside of Planoly, we're simply gonna hop over here and click add to library. If you wanna use the embedded Canva feature, this is how you access that. And this is where if you don't have the correct Canva account linked, it's gonna bring up the wrong one, or you are going to not be able to access your brand kit if you're not happy with your designs. So you can go to styles here, and normally your brand kit is listed at the top inside of the actual Canva account, but this is almost like a Canva light. So I don't actually prefer this feature. I actually just prefer to open up Canva I use the Canva desktop app. I just prefer to open up Canva inside of my computer, outside of Planoly, and then I can go ahead and create. So I'm gonna make a copy of this file because I went ahead and pre-did our text overlays. I'm filming a Tailwind video as well, so I'm gonna use this copy of these pins. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up that file and I'm gonna rename it because this isn't Tailwind pins. So all of my content actually is set up in a workflow inside of ClickUp. It moves from my content plan list to my marketing plan list and eventually into my Pinterest system. So the very first time I create a piece of content, it goes into the content plan. When I create a piece of content in here in the outline list, it automatically creates a duplicate task inside of my marketing plan list here. And then I create a Pinterest image for the very first time based on the things that are going out that are brand new inside of here. So this is my current 30 day marketing plan. After I create pins the very first time and I mark them complete here, I have an automation actually set up to create a task or add a, add a task to the new Pinterest system list. And that's here. So that's a whole lot of stuff going on and you do not need to be this advanced. I just prefer to have these things over here, any, and this, this way I know once they are in this list, I've already created pins from pins for them. And this is where the ongoing pin creation is going to happen. So I batch created all of these tasks and I went ahead and wrote my titles, descriptions and gathered my URLs. And then I am ready to create pins. So up to this point, I have done a little legwork that you have not done. So pause this video and go create your list of pins that you're going to work with on with me and get your title, description, and pin URL completed and in your ClickUp list like I have here or in your Pinterest system spreadsheet. If you want this system, you can join the Academy and grab the whole thing right away. And then you can follow along this exact path with me, or you can just create this on your own and still just follow along the same path. So since we already have the basis of our pins completed, I'm actually gonna rebrand these a little bit and make them different colors, use different images than what I'm gonna use over on the other, the Tailwind Pins video. That way we're not actually duplicating anything. Okay. 
And this is really where having a super set up, like optimized set of Pinterest templates is gonna be really helpful for you. And this one I can't actually change the background on because I have a video on here. So let me show you. I actually created this video in Canva and it's actually a bunch of images I downloaded as an MP4 file and then it plays through as a video. They slide through like slides. And then, so this actually has a background on it and I can't actually change the background of this entire design because of that. So see how it has a white background on it. So we're gonna change it and leave it the same color. We're just gonna change the color font. So I've edited all of those and now I just have to come through and add in images. So I'm actually in a, in a phase of using all of my own brand imagery right now because I just had really amazing brand photos done. So they're organized in folders and click up already. So I literally just have to go in and grab the ones that I want. That's a video, I don't have to change that one. This is a mock-up of my um, academy. I don't have to change that one. We're all done. Okay, so from here, all we have to do is actually download these and put them into our ClickUp list. So we're actually not gonna put them in our ClickUp list just yet. And I do have one video here, so I'm gonna have to download all of these as images, except for number four. So we're gonna say MP video for number four, download, download. And this is where if you used Canva inside of Planoly, that would be super amazing. But if you wanted to change the background colors like I did on any of these images and actually make changes to your templates, you're not gonna have your brand kit to be able to do that. You don't even have access to your logos in there. And I find that to be kind of a downfall for the Planoly Canva integration. They really need to open that up and allow you to use the full Canva features inside of Planoly. But obviously that's not an issue if you just open up the app on your computer. All right, let's down the, download the rest of these as PNG files or JPEGs. It doesn't matter for web imagery. It honestly doesn't matter. And I think this front image is actually the wrong color. It's not the right. I think I might've actually edited my brand kit. Okay, so those are going. The MP4 video is gonna take a minute to download. So what we're gonna do is actually come over here and open up Planoly, and we are going to pull these images in. Now, this is going to be a zip file, so we're going to need to unzip it. And then we're going to go to my computer. It'll upload them all into your library as unscheduled. And from here, all we have to do is pull out our Pinterest titles and descriptions. And this is going to take just a second, so bear with me. And then we like to select our board. So I'm gonna do Pinterest marketing strategies and I'm gonna go ahead and schedule this one for today because I don't actually have any pins. And then just click save. Typically I have a, I don't have this issue with the scheduling. I've never actually ran into this where Normally, it'll just pull up the state box like that. But the very first one I just scheduled, you saw that glitch. So if you run into that as well, just know that you might have to add some time slots or refresh your plan only screen and the old version should come back. I'm going to schedule it for tomorrow. I like to schedule one pin per day. And then this is Pinterest for sales. And this is my strategy guide pin. You'll notice that I'm sending the majority of these pins to my own website. And that's because 20% of all of my YouTube views come from my website and Pinterest prefers claimed domains. So I would prefer just to send all of my traffic to my domain versus sending it directly to YouTube because I'm gonna capture those views regardless. Okay, 
So these slots are blank slots. Those are the ones that I added in. And then these are filled in slots. So you can see this is a Pinterest image I already scheduled. The last one that we have is my Academy one. And then we need to upload the video. The only thing is, I'm not sure you get to choose your, you don't get to choose your cover. And that's kind of a bummer. But we're gonna go ahead and schedule this here anyways. Okay, and that's it. That's how we schedule all of our content. Now, one final thing that I would do is actually come in here and upload all of the content from my um, download folder into ClickUp. That way I have access to those images next time. So I would actually come in and just add all of these images in here like so. And I'm not going to make you sit through me uploading them all to ClickUp, but I do prefer to have everything in here. And then when all of these are done, the way that I have my Pinterest system set up and the way that I'm going to set it up is un like several weeks from now, I'm going to mark this as done and it's going to come back into the to-do list. So I know that I need to create content for it again at a later date. And that's it. That's my start to finish Planoly workflow. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do is input your content into your hub, wherever you're keeping that at. If you want my Pinterest system, you can grab it in the description below. Then write your pin titles and descriptions, batch create your pins, upload them to Planoly, Optimize them in Planoly, and then uh, basically you're going to copy and paste everything to optimize them in Planoly from what you, you pre-wrote, and then you're going to schedule them, and that's it. That's how you, from start to finish, create, optimize, and put everything into your Planoly schedule. Now, you'll notice that I only scheduled one pin per day, and I only have one pin per day going out. That is because I am only in 2022 creating and scheduling one static pin per day. I'm not going to spend any more time on creating a ton of static content because the majority of my traffic doesn't actually come from Pinterest. It comes from Google and YouTube. So for me, Pinterest is like the third platform that I'm pushing from, but the other two are definitely more vital. So I'm, I'm doing a minimum viable strategy on Pinterest this year, putting more focus and emphasis into idea pins and less focus and emphasis into static imagery. And that's it. That's how I create my Planoly start to finish workflow. If you haven't started using Planoly or Canva, or if you want my Pinterest system, all of the links that I have shared with you, the resources I've shared with you today, will be in the description box below. In the meantime, if you're interested in learning more about Planoly or any of our other scheduling tools and our Pinterest marketing strategies, head right on over here and watch these videos.